So this is the new bus bar panel. It's got a shut off switch for the battery. These are the cables to connect it to the battery there. The breakers are covered and the bus bars are covered. The breakers are recessed. So you can't bump them or anything this way, but you can reach in to trip them manually and to reset them. That can turn the, bat the bus bars on and off from the connection from the battery. And there's a shunt on the negative side where it comes in from the battery. And this meter should let me read how many amps are going in or out of the battery. So that's a pretty nifty panel. And the rest of the video shows how I made it. This is one inch by quarter inch brass bar. And I've marked it where I want to drill holes to mount the circuit breaker and the shutoff switch. So I'm using another drill to deburr the hole. And now that the part is done, I'm checking to make sure the bolts fit to the holes. And I'm using some degreaser to get rid of the oil that was on the part. The circuit breakers had this little nub on the side of the housing that wouldn't let the bus bars rest flat on the little wings where you fasten them down. But I found that with the oscillating tool it just took a few seconds to grind that tab off. And oh yeah, that now works. they fit fine. That's gonna work out real nice. See, just like that. I like that. Boom, baby, that's the way we do that. It eliminates all the short jumpers from the bus bar to the fuses or the breakers. Breakers just attach to the bus bar like that. The main switch is attached to the bus bar. So all I need are the jumpers from the breakers to the devices and from the other side of the cutoff switch to the battery. And the negative bus bar has this shunt. So the negative terminal of the battery will connect here. Power will go through the shunt to the negative bus bar. Then through the load, through the circuit breaker, the positive bus bar the shutoff switch and from the other side of the shutoff switch to the positive battery terminal. So that is the plan. And this is a 300 amp shunt. And a meter that will tell me how much current is flowing in or out of the battery at any given time. I can use this to actually see how much current is coming out of the battery charger and the new charger will have an adjustment so if it's making more than it's supposed to I can turn it down a bit so it doesn't pop the breaker which was the problem with the previous charger so since I had to take it all apart I decided I would do proper bus bars this time
the washers are here because the bolt is not fully threaded and the the shoulder area would let this drop down. See what I found. These are parts that I cut out of some honeycomb panels with the with the hole saw. I didn't throw away these circles. I figured they could be used for wheels for something or washers. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's great. And those were free. These are real short and so when I put the longer ones in they'll be able to get a bite even though I've already made a hole with these. Okay so I've written some notes on here. Basically, I want to raise this up so that these are recessed like the ones in the carver so things can't bump into this. And while I'm at it, I've already moved this negative bus bar from here down to here so that things can connect to it and come up this way. And the positive bus bar Things are going to connect to these breakers, not to the bus bar. Right, so things connecting like that, basically. And to make that easier, I want to take this and move it down just a bit. In order to have this cover raised up, I'm going to need to replace this and another one with dividers that are a half an inch taller and after moving this down I think this can be moved up just a little bit and then I'll cut different covers for these
room for the negative lead from the battery to come in here and probably cover this up to here. And yeah, this will just be a simple L cut. Really, you could just and then. No, I like the L cut. Okay. Basically eight inches wide. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go out in the garage and saw some stuff up again. Now that goes like that. Go here. And all this is fastened up except for that. Now I get to lay these out on here. Just going to cut a little bit more there so that it's easier to reach in and reset the breaker. Doesn't need much, but. And this one is apparently okay. All right. Yep, that makes it easier to reach in and close the breaker. I can now see the terminal over here, but I really doubt anything is going to manage to get in there and then work its way around and contact this. Especially with this covered like that. I think this will contain the electricity very nicely. Alright, what's next? Okay, rounded that out a little bit, made a bit more room for it, and beveled this so it's not so sharp up against the wire. And that should fit about like that. Okay, and I've got this meter. It's supposed to be connected mostly to the negative side. It has a couple of connections here, a connection here, and then one connection to the positive bus bar. And I don't know, I was thinking about recessing this inside this panel so it would be flush mount right down in there. But I've done all this work creating these barriers to prevent anything from this side coming in contact over here. 
So I think what I want to do is the ones for if I I can use some gecko tape to just stick this to the top here. Then the negative wires can go through a hole here and connect where they have to connect. And the one positive wire will go above this cover through this divider and can connect over here. Alright, so I have now connected the positive wire here and the negative wire to the shunt. So these will be the only connections to the battery. And these are two zero gauge welding cable. Double zero gauge welding cable. And they should handle the amps. The full 3000 watts for the inverter should be able to flow through there. There will be one more wire to connect first and that can come in through this side. And that will be for the battery charger. Okay. Yep, those are pretty secure. Can I do that? that. Very good. Okay. All right. And that is that. Actually, it goes like that. And now it can go in the boat.